Good morning, everybody. Here are my van life must haves. What are yours? All right, just before making breakfast here, I wanted to talk about van life must-haves. Number one is going to be window covers. This is the type of tint where you can see out just fine, but nobody could see in. Even if they held a flashlight, a bright flashlight in here, you cannot see in. So in order to have a good night's rest, I need to have privacy. This is ceramic tint, limo all around. Look how dark it is, you cannot see in, regardless what time it is. So if you're anything like me who has some expensive items in here with lights and all that, from the outside, doesn't look like anything. Window covers is a must. I don't want everybody seeing into what I have in here. You want to be safe. So window covers is the way to go. So if you're anything like me and drink over a gallon of water a day, you need an easy way to dispense drinking water. I have this USB-C faucet here with a fold away handle. Pretty sweet. Hit a button. And there you go. Moving right along. A comfortable bed that converts into a couch was incredibly important to this build. It was probably the biggest problem to solve. I modeled this after a Volkswagen Westfalia style. But let me focus on the bed. It is incredibly comfortable. This is a seven inch Ikea memory foam, two by threes. I'll have a video coming out exactly detailing how I did this. So if you wanna replicate this, you could. I'll take out the cushions. I'll take out the top platform. I'll show you the foundation, the frame that it's sitting on. Very, very sturdy. I've had 400, 500 pounds on this no issues at all you hit one switch here give this a little a little tug and there you go now you have a 39 by 74 inch bed also known as a twin bed it's seven inch seven inches of foam i am 6'1 200 pounds for reference and i sleep in here like a baby it is incredibly comfortable and it converts in two seconds. Converts back in two seconds. So this is where the magic of sleep happens and maybe a little watching TV because this is on a, a hinge and you can mount this wherever. But I'm getting off topic. Another big thing is a power station. How will you run all your electronics? You may not have as many as I do, but you may want to charge your cell phone if you're doing a no build build you need something to at least charge your cell phone you don't actually don't even need a power station you just charge it up while you drive but if you're going to be boondocking somewhere for a long time you need a power source what i have in mind is up top 325 watts of solar it fits and spans the entire length of my van this is a homemade fairing that i made not only to hide the solar panel but also to deflect wind when people come up to my van, they have no idea there's a solar panel up there. Into three 100 amp hour lead acid batteries. I have a Victron smart solar controller. And uh, together with a friend of mine, we put together this charging station. It has three 12 volt ports and a USB port on and off and a voltage meter right up here. But again, power is gonna be important. How will you power things? 
you may not have the information or the know-how to wire up your entire system it actually isn't that hard I would recommend making your own system do a basic build versus buying a uh, a power bank or a solar generator which I'm not sure why they call it a generator because it's not generating anything but some of those are gonna be you buy those for convenience only it has a very small capacity battery and also has a very small wattage inverter in those all-in-one power banks just keep that in mind you're only buying those for convenience if you don't want to wire up all your own stuff which is going to be a fraction of the cost with way more capacity and more power and more capacity to save energy than any of those power banks aka solar generators but it is convenient and there is a market for it as you can tell those sell out like crazy another thing that is a must-have for me is a 12 volt compressor refrigerator it is incredibly efficient it only uses 45 watts an hour which is basically like a light bulb not having to deal with changing out ice buying ice every few days having the bottom full of water my food messed up has been clutch can you do this life with a cooler of course you can but you want to make it as comfortable and easy for yourself as possible so you don't get burnt out having this has really stepped up my van life game and I will not go back to a regular cooler it fits right in between the seats I can use it as an armrest another counter it's been perfect I do have induction cooked up but not everybody can run that so I'm going to show you guys this propane dual burner from Walmart $30 Ozark trail packs down really slim this has been such a great value double burner propane get your breakfast going it's been pretty sweet also, side note, this cargo swing away hitch has been invaluable, not only as a storage, but also as a countertop. I love cooking back here. It is a huge, basically the width of my van, and I can cook up here. So you have this, you grab one of those hefty, ultra strong bags, you put some uh, tidy cat litter, you take the dump, and then, you know, you just shake it up a little bit, you tie that thing up, boom. You, just you heard it here first this is kevin's van if you watch my channel you know who he is you may see some tidy cats kitty litter in here uh, but there are no cats living in here um, just like he mentioned if you're waking up in the middle of the night and you gotta go here it is right for me it's not that big of a necessity because i'm a backpacker if i'm ever out in the bush i do backpacking style and when i'm in town there's facilities everywhere but this is so convenient if you got a nervous bladder or uh, you're poop shy to poop somewhere in public you can just close up the van doors and do your thing well I was gonna do over easy but now these eggs are basically scrambled but this is just uh, a little breakfast <laughs> <laughs> 